It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. We must consult our means rather than our wishes. Worry is the interest paid by those who borrow trouble. Decision making, like coffee, needs a cooling process. If freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. A primary object should be the education of our youth in the science of government. Let your heart feel for the afflictions and distress of everyone. Be not glad at the misfortune of another, though he may be your enemy. Strive not with your superiors in argument, but always submit your judgment to others with modesty. Real men despise battle, but will never run from it. Individuals entering into society must give up a share of liberty to preserve the rest. 99% of failures are the ones who make excuses. A bad war is fought with a good mind. There is nothing so likely to produce peace as to be well prepared to meet the enemy. Be courteous to all, but intimate with few, and let those few be well tried before you give them your confidence. True friendship is a plant of slow growth and must undergo and withstand the shocks of adversity before it is entitled to appellation. It is better to be alone than in bad company. Human happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected. To persevere in one's duty and to be silent is the best answer to calumny. There is nothing which can better deserve our patronage than the promotion of science and literature. Knowledge is in every country the surest basis of public happiness. To be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving peace. Guard against the impostures of pretended patriotism. Labor to keep alive in your breast that little spark of celestial fire called conscience. Perseverance and spirit have done wonders in all ages. It is best to be silent, for there is nothing more certain than that it is, at all times, more easy to make enemies than friends. Associate yourself with men of good quality. If you esteem your own reputation, for it is better to be alone than in bad company. Let us therefore animate and encourage each other, and show the whole world that a free man, contending for liberty on his own ground, is superior to any slavish mercenary on earth. A sensible woman can never be happy with a fool. 
few men have the virtue to withstand the highest bidder. Happiness depends more upon the internal frame of a person's own mind than on the externals in the world. Experience teaches us that it is much easier to prevent an enemy from posting themselves than it is to dislodge them after they have got possession. The harder the conflict, the greater the triumph. The turning points of lives are not the great moments. The real crises are often concealed in occurrences so trivial in appearance that they pass unobserved. As mankind becomes more liberal, they will be more apt to allow that all those who conduct themselves as worthy members of the community are equally entitled to the protections of civil government. To encourage literature and the arts is a duty which every good citizen owes to his country. A knowledge of books is the basis upon which other knowledge is to be built. Paper money has had the effect in your state that it will ever have to ruin commerce, oppress the honest, and open the door to every species of fraud and injustice. Discipline is the soul of an army. It makes small numbers formidable, procures success to the weak, and esteem to all. Those who have committed no faults want no pardon. We are only defending what we deem our indisputable rights. We should not look back unless it is to derive useful lessons from past errors and for the purpose of profiting by dearly bought experience. No punishment, in my opinion, is too great for the man who can build his greatness upon his country's ruin. The common and continual mischiefs of the spirit of party are sufficient to make it the interest and the duty of a wise people to discourage and restrain it. The nation, which indulges towards another an habitual hatred or an habitual fondness, is in some degree a slave. Never attach where it is obvious. The great rule of conduct for us in regard to foreign nations is, in extending our commercial relations, to have with them as little political connection as possible. Government is not reason. It is not eloquence. It is a force. And force, like fire, is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. In a good family, the husband is blind and the wife is deaf. If to please the people, we offer what we ourselves disapprove of, how can we afterwards defend our work? Let us raise a standard to which the wise and honest can repair. The rest is in the hands of God. Avoid a man who pretends to be your friend. Freedom and property rights are inseparable. You can't have one without the other. Nothing is more essential than that permanent 
inveterate antipathies against particular nations and passionate attachments for others should be excluded. It is substantially true that virtue or morality is a necessary spring of popular government. The rule, indeed, extends with more or less force to every species of free government. Religious controversies are always productive of more acrimony and irreconcilable hatreds than those which spring from any other cause.